hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here hi i'm lera dobaloi and you are very welcome in this channel don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time when i upload a new video if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to my channel and for continuously supporting me as a beginner you are very very much appreciated so today i'm gonna do a get to know me tag video because when i started my youtube channel i was like you know let me just try this out and see how far it goes and so far it's going well so i thought yeah this is the perfect time for me to introduce myself properly so that you get to know me better yeah so let me just get the questions that i've gathered yeah, while my device is still switching on let me just talk to you guys a bit um my name is lerat ovaloi as i've mentioned when i was introducing this video and i am 23 years old i was born on the 4th of january so yeah i already turned 23 this year i am from Mokopani in Limpopo that's where I was raised but I was born in Seychelles it's a long story don't ask me how and why and yeah right now I'm currently in Pretoria due to academic reasons but yeah I've been here for such a long time so I decided to do a get to know me tag video so that I can properly introduce myself to you guys because when I started this channel I was like yo let me try this YouTube thing maybe it might grow maybe it might crash but so far it's growing in a realistic way you know I've re reached I've reached around 62 subscribers which is a lot for a beginner I only posted three videos and my channel is really growing so yeah i'm really grateful so i guess i'm gonna continue with this journey you know of being a creator if i may say a youtuber so yeah the reason why i started this youtube channel it's because i've always wanted to do it since i was in high school but i didn't know where to start i didn't know what to do how to film i didn't have a proper phone you know when you're in high school your parents are so overprotective so one regular phone in your normal notes or okay or one phone in your own yak or all really somewhere where hey scalable and stuff like that but ever since i thought of it i was like you know one day i'm gonna start a youtube channel and lama toma ricky nico toma youtube channel i was like i'm gonna sing because I'm not the best but I, I try I have a I have a voice so I love singing so I thought maybe I was gonna do cover videos where I just sing and then I started watching YouTube videos and I started to learn a lot about vlogs about content creation and then I was like yeah one day I'm gonna try it and every time when I'm with my friends I'm like hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel <laughs> you know in a funny context until one day i was like you know what content creation is serious ever since covid 19 content creation has become so serious and i be i became rather so inspired by other creators and other youtubers and i was like one day i'm gonna do this but initially i don't know i didn't know rather what i would have made content out of so i thought okay i i love doing a lot of different things maybe i can just put that in context and create a youtube channel that that is only gonna be about me if that makes sense so i sat down i'm like let me try this thing you know and it sounded so crazy when i started i was like hey, I don't know what I was. but let's see let's see how it goes and the people around me supported me my friends my boyfriend everyone around me really really did support me in ways that i could never imagine so i started the channel i put in that um what do you call it a banner thing that shows your channel and what you do i put it on youtube on my profile i put a nice picture there i created an intro video and yeah 
I posted it on my WhatsApp status and everyone was like, you're starting a channel. Wow, that's nice. It's been a while since you spoke about it. Like I've, I've been posting on my status as well, saying that, asking rather my WhatsApp friends if they would support me if I did. I started a YouTube channel and they said they would. So yeah. And then I started my channel. So, so far the content that I'm going to be creating is going to be about choir because I love singing. It's going to be about my daily routine of living, like me going to campus, the things that I do basically in a week. When I shop, I'm going to do hauls. When I buy clothes, I'm definitely going to do hauls. And I'm still trying to learn how to dress my body, you know, how to be up to par with fashion. I'm not a fashionista per se, but I love looking good. I'm a minimalist. So I'm just going to learn you know through my youtube channel while i'm at it so yeah i'm just gonna display that and a very important thing that i need to mention i'm not gonna post my relationship or the relationships i have with other people on my youtube channel mainly because i respect them and this channel kitomile i'm creating a channel for myself you know so i'm going to display a lot of things about me not about the the relationships i have with people unless maybe friend i like your youtube channel we should do a video together then i don't mind that's up to them but other than that i'm not going to post the relationship i have with my parents the relationship i have with my siblings i'm not going to even make them a part of my youtube channel out of respect this channel is about me and what i share is up to me so i'm definitely not gonna share about my relationships but just how i live my life yeah so now that we got that out of the way let me just get straight into answering the questions that i've gathered i hope you enjoy Alrighty, I'm still unlocking my device. Looks ready to me. Let's see what we have here. Mm. Okay. I really I really hope that the the questions that I've gathered are enough to actually let you guys know more about me as a person. But other than that, I really hope it, it does. Where are the questions? Mm. I feel like my hair is disrupting the mic, especially when it moves because I, I have beads there. But yeah, let me just give me a moment. Okay, so I found these questions. I hope you can see. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'll read them out anyway. So I found these questions and I'm not going to answer all of them. Some of them are so, so, so tricky. Hey, <laughs> how am I supposed to answer some questions in a respective way? So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten categories. So yeah, I'm just going to answer a few of those questions. The first category area what's your my full name i'm not proud of my names because i have three names ne? all of them on my id i only love one because one is meant for me and the other two i was named after mang mang you know from my mom's side and mang mang from my dad's side so those names are so like it's giving elizabeth it's giving not that elizabeth is an ugly name sorry it's a beautiful name. But there are some names. Like, you know. Yeah. I have I have two of those. So my full names for now are just Lerat Overlui. But that's all you need to know. And my birthday, I was born on the 4th of January. Like I said earlier. My zodiac sign. I suppose I'm a Capricorn, but now I don't believe in such things, you know. I feel like a lot of people use their zodiac signs to like make excuses for treating people badly. Like someone would make something so irrational 
or say something so irrational to someone that's hurtful and be like later on be like yeah i'm a libra you know i'm a leo i'm a sagittarius like no stop treating people badly and blaming it on your zodiac sign it has nothing to do with that be kind you know be kind it's free but yeah i am a capricorn according to the zodiac sign thingy my height i'm not that short and not that tall i'm actually average i think the last time i measured my height i was around about 1.56 or 65 meters tall and sexual orientation what's that i'm straight if ever <laughs> this if, if ever that's what this question means i am very straight very straight eye color brown birthplace well i was born but i was raised so i stayed for a couple of years probably two or three and then i then went to mokopani and then ever since primary high school i was raised there basically i grew up there and religion i am a christian i am a daughter of the most high god <laughs> i love god yeah i am a christian have you ever the other category have you ever been to a concert a concert as in like the celebrity that perform and we're just chilling there we're just dancing no, i've never done that or maybe festival i've never done that and i don't know why but i hope i'll do it someday have i ever been to the beach yes i used to play cricket in high school and i went pretty far with it i was in the provincial team for limpopo for some years so we would travel a lot i've been to cape town i've been to port elizabeth and i've been to durban maraca durban nearly a school trip while i was in grade eight so yes i've been to the beach three times in three different locations in south africa that's cool right i'm a cool girl <laughs> yeah i've been to the beach have you ever been on an airplane yes because of cricket as well have i ever broken a law on purpose no i've never broken any law if i remember um i grew up to be one of those people who do stuff by the book i don't know if that sets me out as weird but yeah even today i still do that and have i ever been out of south africa no i've never been out of the country but i'm planning to maybe in the upcoming years just subscribe to my channel and we will sort that out right yeah and have i ever met someone famous yeah i once met um a cricket international cricket player the in getting the national team is it the national team yeah team yeah, south africa i met a couple of those cricket players and yeah i was more than delighted to meet them and they're famous it counts right but celebrity not any that i think of i've met mashabela before while i was still in high school it was such a cool experience i want to go look and what i told there at this festival yama pungube and he was the salesman it was so nice to meet them if it counts as a concert then yes i've been to a concert as well but yeah it was just a comedy show so i was i was very delighted to meet them and yeah move moving on to the do you um do you category yeah do you have tattoos no i don't have any tattoos on my body do i have piercings only on my ears um do i smoke i don't smoke cigarettes but sometimes when i go out with my friends i do smoke some happily yeah do i party no i don't party i don't like crowded places but i do challenge myself from time to time if my friends invite me somewhere i go and i just honor the invite we chill for a few hours and then i leave but other than that i'm not someone who just wake up in the morning be like yeah we wanna party I, I'm, I'm i'm very boring i find myself very boring 
but yeah i do challenge myself from time to time but uh, partying is not my vibe and do i do drugs no drugs are not good in any way they're addictive they disrupt your health they're just bad so and do i have pets no i don't have pets but i do love dogs so i would love to get myself a puppy one day yeah maybe one day and do i have a job no i don't have a job yet i don't have a job relationships marriage no i'm not yet married but i am in a serious relationship so yeah i'm taken do i have a crush no i don't i only have a crush on my boyfriend he's the only man that exists in my head but yeah i don't have a crush up besides him longest relationship oh let's just skip the relationship part because i really don't want to talk about that i don't want people knowing about my my life in that sense the channel is about me not the people that i'm with right yeah can i play any instruments no not really i tried i tried learning how to play the keyboard the piano while i was young and i only know how to play happy birthday twinkle twinkle little star old mcdonald had a farm all those childhood songs like those um what do you call them what do you call these songs i i forgot what they call them in english but yeah nursery rhymes yes a few nursery rhymes i can play but i really don't know how to play any instrument and can i play any sports yes i can play cricket i can play a bit of basketball and i can play a little bit of volleyball but i'm really good in cricket yeah i'm really good in cricket uh, my favorite band and song i don't have a favorite band but my favorite song right now let me just check it real quickly this other song i love it so much <laughs> like it's on spotify i love this song so much and it's in zulu so i cannot speak fluent zulu i have to read it properly so let me see let's hold on a second uh, okay here we go still loading okay this song by sabelom tembu called angipili maungeko excuse my zulu yeah this song right here uh, let me try to play it yeah this song i hope you can see it yeah this is my current favorite song and another song that i like ki disengage by kieran rhodes if i'm pronouncing his name correctly and this other song yeah william krm last the robot boy <laughs> this song is a vibe i don't know why i like it it's 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 really a nice song to me but i like it like it makes me happy every morning if i play that song give a happy i like a lot of songs but those ones stand out a lot yeah moving on favorites ne? my favorite color is blue my favorite color is blue but i recently started loving this color yeah, white like and black sometimes but i'm really obsessed with white things and beige those nudish light brownish colors and a bit of black here and there so yeah i love those colors and my favorite tv show gerata love is blind on netflix and i cannot wait for them to drop uh, a new season and my favorite food um i honestly don't know but i definitely like burgers i love trying different burgers so yeah if that counts my favorite season holiday i love easter mainly because around that time everything just stops you know if you're working if you're at school you get just like some time to spend with your family just go to church and praise god you know yeah so i love easter and the weather is always 
beautiful guy easter i don't know what that is about but the weather in easter perfect in south africa though <laughs> in south africa yeah and my favorite ice cream flavor i love chocolate love i love chocolate ice cream and my favorite place i know this might sound weird but i love the library it's quiet it's reserved it's a place where you can just focus intensely on something that you're doing without being interrupted so i love the library my favorite book the only book that i've read and actually liked key things fall apart by chinua achebe followed by this other book man born a crime yeah trevor Noah. that book is beautiful so i love those books my favorite app i would say youtube but i'll be biased <laughs> i love tiktok a lot I'm, I'm even an addict but between tiktok and youtube it's a struggle to pick so i like both and my favorite sport team it used to be proteas until they started losing a lot and i was like ah, you know matter between pirates and chiefs it's amali pirates yeah and my future the other category is future my dream job mm, i'm not comfortable with talking about that yet maybe another time yeah and do i want kids yes i want kids i want two kids and that's enough of me if it happens that i have three it's fine I'll, I'll love all of them either way but two is a perfect number it's manageable and a dream place to live i'd love to live in cape town yeah it sounds like a nice it doesn't sound like i've been there before and it, it it's absolutely beautiful i love how the beach has white sand you know the sand there is beautiful like i love it i really love it and also joburg joburg is really nice because the weather there is not the same as here in pretoria so yeah i'll definitely stay go joburg and yeah raunchy turn on turn offs favorite position i'm not gonna answer that that's inappropriate okay moving on to bad habits my bad habits are laziness like i know i'm capable of a lot of things but once i become so lazy i just i just want to be in bed i just want to wake up late and yeah sometimes it's just so bad so one of my bad habits are laziness and what what else i don't know if it's a bad habit i love being on time <laughs> i think it's a good habit i love being on time and if i'm around people who are interfering with me being on time i get so mad at them as if it's their fault but part of it is you know if if okay we're gonna meet at one and get and then naka 11 i'm already showered i'm already putting on my clothes and then when are you telling me Ori, yo, I can't find my shoes. That time, Kikora, where are you gonna get time to travel to where we're gonna meet? So I'm like, Auntie Siras, that that really makes me mad. And sometimes I cannot just accept or things happen. So that's my bad habit. As much as I'm, I, I like being on time. I want people around me to be on time. If we're meeting, be on time. And th that that's really a bad habit because someone can just apologize me like a lot of things can happen i mean a lot of things can happen but i just cannot accept that you know because i'm always prepared and if someone around me isn't it, it just drives me mad and i become so mad at them and that's a bad habit and it would ruin my mood for the entire day because you were late and that's a bad habit i should be forgiving right yeah so that's my bad habit and family life i don't know what that question is but how oh I, I should just maybe explain the relationship i have with my family it's okay i mean i love my family and i do anything for them so yeah i'm a family person but i just don't understand this question but if that's what it means then there and three wishes if i could wish for anything and i had three wishes one i'd wish to i know this is this might sound crazy but i'd wish to see god and just have 
a conversation with him just for a minute in person like you mourn him like you know and another thing i'd wish for is for all the people who are homeless the people who are sick to be healed people who are homeless to finally find a place of refuge and baby shop because it breaks my heart every day when i travel from the central to where i stay kibabone like whenever i travel at night sometimes okay kibabone ba le like during winter is really cold imagine when ole kamontong you feel cold you still have a roof on top of your head you still have blankets you still have pillows you have everything you have a warm water bottle but you could still you still complain be like yo what doing so i'd wish for them to find a place excuse me i'd wish for them to find a place of refuge where they could just have a roof on top of their head and my other wish would be for all the inequality in the world to end like how could we have someone we lomori has 50% and more wealth of the whole country while 50% suffers i don't know like let's just say i'm this one person i have 50 percent yeah the wealth yeah country yeah, south africa as a whole and then there's there are people who are suffering people who are struggling i have everything i need and more what am i going to do with all that money is it is it power is it, like that's selfishness in the flesh like in the flesh so i would I would end the inequality in that way. Yes, there has to be someone who's richer or smarter than the other, but not to that extent. Molumuri can go to bed knowing that you have more than more than enough, and you don't want to share it. You know. Yeah, I wish I could end that, but I'll be wasting a wish, ne? Because it, it would never be possible. So I'd wish for for wisdom, you know, to be wise enough to. I don't know to face any challenge with wisdom or more wisdom than I have just to be wise to be wise enough to to survive in this world yeah I'd wish for that instead of whatever equal will never be equal really so I'd wish for wisdom to maneuver around life yeah my obsession or addiction I am addicted to cleaning when I'm upset so if if <laughs> if someone makes me upset three times i will clean three times and i mean it like i'm obsessed with using cleaning as therapy i'm addicted to that and another thing i used to be addicted to is coffee but i'm better now i don't drink coffee that much i used to love caffeine but now i'm like i'm good and i used to like eat a lot I used to be obsessed with ordering food. I used to be obsessed with the Uber Eats app. So now I toned it I toned it down a bit. I only order when I really have to, when I cannot cook or when I'm not feeling well. But yeah, other than that, I'm good. Those are my obsessions or oh, addiction and TikTok. Yo. Yo, someone must just shut down TikTok TikTok for a week and we'll see what's going to happen. My talents, I can sing. I can solve problems. I'm joking. My talents are singing. And I think maybe I'm talented in cricket as well cuz I don't know, let me not blow my own horn. Yeah, I I can sing. My hobbies. I like to think that um my my YouTube channel is a hobby to me because I'm not doing it for profit. I'm not doing it for any other reason besides me enjoying having a channel and letting people into my life the way i want them to know about me so yeah my hobbies include um youtube and choir i love singing so everywhere i go even if i move to the usa i will find a choir and i will join it and what else do i like to do in my free time yeah i've i've been teaching myself how to program so i'm still learning how to program i love using r studio so you must check it out it's a free um programming software you can install it on your pc for free and you can get youtube tutorials and you just learn how to 
to is it to code yeah to program yeah and try python as well it's nice so i love doing that on my free time okay moving on to another set of questions would you rather would you rather lose your phone or lose your wallet well i'd rather lose my wallet because oh i thought someone was passing by i'd rather lose my wallet because i do a lot of things on my phone banking apps money is in my phone in my banking app so i don't really use my wallet my wallets are filled with just cards i don't know how to carry cash because i end up losing it unless maybe i really need to use cash i'll try my best to take care of it but i i'm a bad keeper of cash so yeah i'd rather lose my wallet because i know it's easy to replace than my phone because i use my phone for everything including creating content so yeah i don't have a camera yet so my phone my everything if i may say and would i rather have one close friend or have many friends well i'd rather have one close friend because i'm socially awkward to begin with if i could just have one person who understands me instead of having a lot of people that i need to please i'd rather have one friend and would i rather be a celebrity or meet my favorite celebrity i don't think i have a favorite celebrity but if i had one i'd rather meet um i'd rather meet a celebrity because if i were to be a celebrity i don't think i'll have much privacy to my life i mean people will always find stuff about you find out stuff about you that you don't even want them to know they would want to know who you're dating they would want to know what you're doing with your life they'll just creep up creep up in your life imagine going to the gym oh my gosh look at that. yo I, I, yo i don't even have the energy to entertain people in real life not in a rude way like i don't have the energy to just like be the scent at the center of everything so at least if i'm not a celebrity i can maneuver around my life the way i want to but if i'm a celebrity it's no longer about me it's about my fans it's about protecting my family now and my little brother going to a shop Yo, oh my gosh where's your sister is it true that yo it would it would be very painful so yeah i'd rather i'd rather meet a celebrity and get it done with than for me to be a celebrity for the rest of my life it's a lot to take in it it's it's a, it's really a lot okay have no house or have no car no oh, that's a tricky one having a house it's it's an assurance you know a house is a, is a, is an asset the reason why i say this is because i've learned a few weeks ago that nlo igena interest and a car yeah depreciate like enjoy i appreciate the interest and in a car's um value depreciates with time so i'd rather have a house there's uber now i mean but I, i would still want a car but if i were to choose between the two i would definitely choose a house so that i have a roof over my head and i'll figure out a way of moving around than to have no place to stay and have a car you know that ain't smart and there's always like a new car launching every year there's always a new car launching every year so i i definitely choose um a house would i rather be poor and happy or be rich and unhappy i'd rather be poor and happy imagine having all the money in the world but still by depressed what are you going to do with that you can never buy happiness with money so i'd rather be poor and happy would i rather have 10 pets or have 10 kids oh, i'd rather have 10 kids pets oh wow how wow how na no na this bitch at her no na ona le lonya how e green up tsan and each and every one of those cvs they go to your lawn and they help themselves i'd rather not i'd rather have kids having kids having kids would be probably better because you're going to raise them and they're going to have to live their own lives at, at some point but they'll still be your kids they'll still come and visit you but they are logical in, in a sense where i could say give out instead of pets like pets are going to be stuck with me for life so i'd rather have 10 kids and would i rather win a million dollar lottery or meet my soulmate ah, i'd rather win the lottery I already met, i already met my soulmate so i'd rather win the lottery i already met my soulmate so yeah i'll enjoy the money with my soulmate 
would I rather be a mind reader or be able to be invisible? Mm, I don't like invading in other people's privacies. I, I would rather not be invisible or read. Maybe I should read. Yeah, reading minds would be better. I'd rather be a mind reader than be invisible. And unlimited free clothes or unlimited free food. If I could have food, a food supply over a lifetime, I'd be fat and that's unhealthy. I'd rather, I'd rather outfits. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have free clothes. Would I rather live in the city or live in the countryside? Um, to be honest, I like the city. Life here is the quality of life this side is improved compared to like in a quiet place. I feel like one would be depressed if you were to stay in a quiet place for a long time. But at least in the city, it's like there are so many options. You could live in a quiet place and go to the city, like access the central easier than when you are far away in Hana Udula Limpopo go marrying and then every time when you have to come to Pretoria or any other city you have to travel for like three hours minimum so no I'd rather stay in the city the city is nice there's a lot of opportunities here there's a lot of chances and a lot of ways that you can improve yourself there's there are a lot of things that you can learn about yourself you know than being in a quiet place you get to tackle a lot of different challenges and you actually learn about yourself how you solve problems how you how you like live with people you know you get to know yourself more and the old me would definitely argue with myself right now because i was that type of a person who would just say yeah i love home home is peaceful home is nice the city is too much it's too loud no it's not even like that once you get here you get to see how people live you get to become comfortable with who you really are you get to learn a lot about yourself you get to learn a lot about a lot of different people so for me the city is a really good place to be yeah, so thank you so much for watching up until the end of this video. I hope you really did enjoy the get to know me tag. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Hit your notification bell so that you know every time when I post a video. And please comment down below if you would love more sit down videos like this one. So that I can just try to be creative and see how I can interact with you guys. Maybe I could just sit down and we could talk about something. And yeah, don't be shy to comment. Feel free to say whatever you want to say. But be polite. Be nice in the comment section down below. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please do subscribe and tell your friends as well to subscribe to my channel. As I grow to become like a professional youtuber or a proper one because i'm still a beginner but otherwise thank you so much for tuning in i hope to see you soon in my other video bye